Hey guys, today's look we are doing the Marauders map from Harry Potter. I am so sorry for the long intro. I had a little too much fun filming and editing it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to create. But anyways, there's my little kitty Calvin. He's taking a nap. You'll probably see him move a lot in the video. He just likes to hang out. Starting off, I'm just taking a white pencil. And I'm basically just outlining the beginning or the idea of the look I'm going for. I was going for kind of like a shirt type of collared vest thing for the map to be on. I had a different idea starting out and it ended up becoming a little different as I drew it. But basically just outlining where the words are going to be and where the square is going to be at. And I'm just taking my Mayron Paradise paint in black. The word black has come off of the back of it, but it is just straight up black. Taking some water. Fix Plus is no longer in that bottle. It's just water. And I'm just sketching out the buildings. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty upset because a lot of this got cut out and you can't really see most of me drawing on the buildings. I'm kind of upset. I've been playing around with different viewings with my camera and stuff because I am in such a small space. I didn't realize that I didn't capture it all on video, but I am showing what you can see. The drawing of the Marauders map, if you look at it, is actually really messy drawing. It's kind of like a sketch. The lines are not perfect. Some lines are skinnier, some lines are thicker, so it's quite all right. I just went ahead and started sketching it out. I used a really fine brush with the black paint and just kept looking back at a reference picture of the drawing. I didn't get it perfect and towards the top there I kind of started creating my own stuff but it is really detailed and it's kind of hard to draw out especially when you're doing it backwards in a mirror. Just do the best you can and like I said it doesn't need to be perfect. If you take a look at the picture you will realize what I'm talking about. And then I started kind of outlining the shirt part, the collared part. You can't really see this too much in pictures, so I kind of wish I would have gone a different route with it. But that's alright, it's still really cute and turned out pretty good. And just keep drawing and doing y'all thing. And I just had the reference picture on my laptop and I kept looking back from the laptop to my chest. It was a little difficult because I did it backwards, obviously, in the mirror. Um, it's kind of like writing words. I kind of had how I did the Ouija board on my chest and mind. And it's just a little bit more difficult with this one because it is smaller details. And it took me about an hour, I'd say, fully to draw out this whole the whole castle on my chest. Then um, on one of the sides of the castle there is the Whomping Willow tree and but it does say Whomping Willow like all the branches and everything it's words basically for the lines it's not lines it's words in lines if that makes sense that makes up the tree and like a road and stuff but I am not that talented to write all the words so I just did lines and created the tree that way. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever 12 color flash palette and a little sponge that looks like this. And I'm just taking this brown color and this red color mixed together and I'm just splotching it all over my chest to create a sort of texture like the Marauder's Map has. It is an older piece of parchment or piece of paper so it does have, you know, some brownish tones in it to make it appear a little older. And just sponge that all over the place, swipe it in some areas. Then I'm taking my Mayron palette and I'm using the red in this and I'm just filling in the middle there. The Marauder's map, the actual words, is in white lettering but I can't really go over red with white paint so I just go over it and write the Marauder's map in black paint which is quite alright. I think it turned out pretty cool still. Continuing with painting. 
just keep going on and the same thing with the paint there in the middle it's not a perfect solid red it looks like there's some like ink drips or even blood drips on it when you look at the map so it's okay if it's not perfect then I take my purple paint and my red paint mixed together just to make more of a violety red to paint the collar here the collar flap I should say then outlining in black paint just to make it more thick and more opaque and that way you can tell a bit of a difference between that and the map since the map does look like it's sketched out if you do the lines for the shirt a little bit more thicker it'll you'll be able to tell that it's a shirt more than likely then I am writing out the words the Marauders map again I didn't get it in the picture I didn't realize that I didn't get it in the picture until after I had already painted it and recorded it I'm really sorry I'm super disappointed that I didn't get it all next time I'm going to be more aware of that it's just trying to film and set up in new areas is kind of difficult and I don't always know how the angles are gonna look until after I record it and look at it but I show you what I can just make sure you write everything backwards in the mirror there we go now I am drawing out some little footprints like on the map when it's showing someone walking there's footprints and it tells you the name didn't get that in video too well either, but I did draw like seven footprints, like three on one side, four on the other side. Now we're starting on my face. I am taking my Hourglass Veal, 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 Veal Mineral Primer. Super soft, super nice. And I'm just putting that all over my face. And then I'm taking my always trusty Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula. And I'm just applying that on my lids. We're going to do a really dramatic eye today. Wanted to talk about my brows a little bit before we get started on the face makeup and I have been using this mousse and it's called the ultra defined brows mousse from LA splash cosmetics and it looks something like this it does look like this and it's like it's very similar to the Anastasia dip brow pomade but this is a lot softer let me just like show you like it's just softer than the Anastasia one um this is also waterproof I don't know about anybody else but I definitely have problems with it like moving throughout the day or, like my hair touching it and it'll like mess up my brows but this stuff stays in place all day long I've been using it for about a week now I really like it. I highly suggest you going to check it out on their website. Um, today I actually used Maple Lily. It's a soft brown color because I am using my blonde wig, so I thought it would definitely match a little bit better. But I mean, look at how defined my brows are. Like, this shit is crazy. So go to the website, check it out. I do have a code, and I'll put it down below in the description box to save 15% off if you want to use it. If not, I still recommend going and buying it because it's actually really good stuff. So, just wanted to talk about that. I didn't show how I did my brows, but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys what I used and how great it is. Back to the makeup. For my eyes, I am using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. And I am taking the color pfft, Warm Taupe and Red Ochre mixed together. And I am putting that above my crease and in my crease. We're going for a really dramatic kind of cat eye shape. I'm not wanting to use any liner though, any black liner for this look. So I'm just creating that cat eye shape with the shadow. I've really been into doing this kind of shape for my eye lately. Just looks pretty cool. Then I'm taking the color, oh gosh, what color is this? Venetian red. And I am putting that into my crease to really make it a red color and to make it pop out I really want the eyes the lips and the chest part to the chest to go together and pop out I wanted the main color to be red obviously <laughs> and just keep blending going back and forth with your brushes blending those colors together um here's my mom and my little sister and they came in and look at my makeup my little sister is eight I'm just showing them what the map looks like. Now I'm taking my LA Splash Diamond Dust Pigments. And then today I just used Zodiac. I did have both of these colors, but I just used that red one right there. And it's in the color Zodiac. And I used their Till Midnight Elixir. 
and I put the elixir on my lids and I take a little brush and just kind of blend it out somewhat but I want it to still be wet and tacky and then I just take a packing brush and pick up the pigment and I pack it on there just be really careful because there is a lot of fallout as you'll see like right here it's like a ton of fallout because it is a pigment and it's kind of hard to put that on there without there being fallout but it's okay this is why I do my eyes before I do my foundation because I make a mess but that's all right the red and the skin helps get rid of my dark circles so I was okay with it then I'm just taking the Venetian red and the red ochre mixed together from the modern renaissance palette and I am blending the lid into the crease and making this even more of a cat eye shape then I took some black shadow to really bring it all together and make it super dramatic my favorite black shadow is from the Gwen Stefani, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. That black is super pigmented and I love it. And that's the one I'm using today and I'm just really making this eye dramatic. Now I'm taking my Hourglass Vanish foundation stick and I use the shade Vanilla. And I use a lot for this look because I wanted it to be super dramatic. You don't need to use this much because this is a full coverage foundation. Oh my god. But I go ahead and blend my foundation. I do my concealer and my contour. All that good stuff. Bam. And now we're moving on to highlight. If you guys want to see my whole foundation routine, go ahead and check out my video I have. I have one of the whole routine. I'll link it down below. For highlight, I'm using Pink Heart from the Moonshot Glow Kit and my Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Moonlight, I believe this is. I only get samples. I haven't bought the whole thing. They're just samples from Sephora, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like to pack it on with a little brush, blend it out with my fingers a little bit, and then add the highlight on top. I want it to be glowing today. Then I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Matte Gel Eyeliner in Fine Wine. It's a super red eyeliner, and I'm putting that in my waterline. This eyeliner is amazing. Oh my god. It's so red. It's so pretty. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't go anywhere. I have not been able to find a good red eyeliner and bam, here it is. Then I just blended it out with a little bit of a dark brown shadow just to deepen it up on the bottom there. And I brought it down into a cat eye kind of shape in the corner of my eye since we are we're not using eyeliner. You create that shape with the shadows. And then I just added some highlight to the inner corner and my brow bone. And I'm using my new Huda Beauty Lashes in Scarlet. How pretty are those? They are just so gorgeous. I love them. In love. Now I'm shading the collar of my shirt. Just taking a light brown shadow first to create the shadow. And then I go back in with a black shadow to really deepen the uh, shadows up, I guess. <laughs> You want it to look like the shirt is hanging over on the side there and like make it look like it's sitting on your skin. Now I'm taking my silver Mayron Paradise paint and I'm just creating some little buttons on the shirt there just to make it look more shirt-like. And I outline them in black paint as well. Now moving on to lips, I'm taking my NYX Cosmetics Suede Lip Liner. It's a matte lip liner. And it's called Oh Put It On. It's a dark purple color. I love using this color before I do red lips. It just really helps deepen up the lips. And it creates a really beautiful ombre effect. I overline my lips a lot. You don't have to. I just prefer to. And for my lip color today, I am using my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Always Red. It's such a beautiful red color. It really makes your teeth look white. It has a blue undertone. It's just so pretty. And it looks gorgeous in pictures. It does dry down. It's like a liquid lipstick. Taking some brown paint, I am just using a little bit to kind of make that texture on the map a little bit more. I'm just putting it down and using my fingers to wipe it out. And that's it. Put your wig on or whatever you want to do with your hair. And we are all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't want to make it too, too detailed because it was a lot of detailing to do. But it's the first one in my Harry Potter series. I have quite a few more to come. Here's me messing with my wig. I couldn't get it right. <laughs> I have quite a few more Harry Potter looks to come. I am recording all of them. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see them all. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and always being supportive. Bye, guys.